Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're gonna be playing some Vamana. Vamana. And we're up against Scotty. Now, I think last time I played Vamana, some people were like, "Don't use this trash skin." And it's like, what? No, this skin is this skin is so good. It's like one of the best skins in the game. It's one of the oldest skins. True, but definitely one of the best skins. Come on. We're against Scotty, which is both good and bad. Um, ooh, I don't like going mannequins. Mannequins is lame-o. But, I kind of feel like it's the best start on Vamana available to me. Anyways, we're going to go uh, Pain Train type build, which is basically attack speed with Haste and Fatalis. And now, it's both good and bad that I'm up against Scotty. Because it's it's good in terms of she doesn't have an escape, so it's super easy for me to just keep hitting her with my ult over and over and over again. But it's it's bad just because Scotty's really good, her range is good, her uh, it's a little hard to get close to her outside of my ultimate, and even then she can just move it speed away. Like I might level up my one just to get close to her and do some additional poke. Oh, she's going Bumba's hammer, Scotty. I've never seen that. I assume Bumba's hammer doesn't work with Calder. I assume that doesn't count as ability. I'm not gonna level up this one. I'm assuming. If it did, that would be insane if you could just proc Bumba's hammer over and over and over again. I might commit to this just because I have yeah, I have mannequins. Okay. Well, now with red buff and mannequins, this could be good. Ah, not quite. Not quite. I was doing quite like a decent amount of damage, but now nah, I gotta run. Yeah, I try to avoid mannequins for the most part because it's not a fun item. But when we're fighting, I mean, Vamata's pretty top tier, but we're also fighting a top tier Scotty, so. Um. I sometimes go Gilded Air on Vamana, which is fun. I'm actually doing pretty good. Even though I got pushed out first and lost some minions, because I'm the one who got that red buff. And I can actually... Oh, never mind. I was going to say I could take her blue, but she has her blue on her right now. Jerry, she took these as well as blue. I thought she only took one or the other. I thought I heard her taking XP caps, but I didn't think she would have time to take blue and XP, right? Yeah, ice is super annoying as a melee character. Okay, we are having some mana issues, but you know, don't wanna Don't wanna commit to anything for no reason. Again, there's no buffs up. No buffs up at all. I can go back and get my chalice. Get back pretty fast. Scotty has a very scary lockdown potential uh, with her ultimate and everything. What I'm most worried about in this matchup is if I ult and then she uses her ice, which gives her movement speed, um, she's just going to be able to run away. That's what I'm scared of. Even if I have Hazen Katana and everything, uh, what I don't want to do is I don't want to go Frostbound. Frostbound is so lame. But if we need to, then I mean, I suppose... Plus, she, it, it also depends on if she gets sprint or not. I'm ulting not even to kill her, but just so I don't die. So now that her ult's down, she's not as much of a threat. Also, hold on, my mouse cord is <laughs> in a really weird spot. I gotta move it around a little bit. Okay. I can just auto her for a little bit. Yeah, but the ice. The ice. Super annoying. I should I should try to recall. She's not gonna let me, of course, but Oh, that's your shell. And the ice saves her. 
I want it back, but now that red buff's up, it's kind of tough. She's gonna get red buff. I, I have to give her a red buff. Because my mana sustain's terrible. We're going to Berserkers, by the way. Great auto attack item, but fortunately, I have no mana sustain with this start at all. And for those that don't know, the mana passive is the more physical power you get, the more power you have. I already have 17 power for my physical protections, which is good. Um, so that's why a lot of the manas will go tons of defense. Because they actually have power from it. And then when he ults, he gets 100 power at max rank from his ultimate. So it's like, you could have a full tank build as the mana and still do just as much damage as... Uh, Full damage of Amana. Which is why I tend to build him more attack speed than power, because he already just gets a ton of power by existing. Yeah. These are most likely down. Yeah. She's getting slowly ahead of me. But these are up okay good. If she doesn't ult, then I won't ult. Could use an Aussie or something like that, but don't want her to benefit anymore from attack speed. Dash in on her? Oh, and look how fast she is. <laughs> look how fast she is. Yeah. No, I'm gonna... I, I don't know. Babe. I think I have to go Frostbound. But we gotta wait until see what her second relic is first. That is insane. She had so much movement speed from that ice. There's no way she dives me here, right? Oh, I missed her. Just barely. I missed her just barely. That's so annoying That if that slow hit her. Okay, I, I just want to clear the wave. I don't actually want to fight now. That I don't have mana. What sucks is I think... Uh, I don't know how long until red buffs up, to be honest. I don't think it's quite up yet. Okay, we're fine. I'm gonna try to go into a hasten. That way, when I ult, I can stick to her. I have some more move speed for now. And then late game, if she does not go sprint, I can swap it for a frostbound if necessary, or something like that. I don't know. Fun fact is that Scotty actually gets more power when Calder has no HP. So very, very rarely, I find it's better to leave Calder at like 1 HP and then just keep fighting Scotty. But I don't know. It depends on the situation. I'd say I'd say most of the time it's better to kill Calder because he does so much damage. Most of the time, but it's it's something to, good to be aware about as well. Red buff is up. I'm just gonna take the minions. So I'm not gonna kill the big minion. Oh, she got that. And away she goes. And I'm out of mana again. Okay, I need to buy something with mana. And now she can take my blue buff, too. Oh, that's so annoying. Please don't go for my blue buff. Ah, she's going for it. Okay. How about we go this? What MP5 items? I can think about it. I still have time. Mm, breastplate. If we want to go double defense breastplate... Cat shield's kind of hilarious. Or shield of, re <laughs> shield of regrowth. Oh my god. I've never tried shield of regrowth with mana. Could be fun, actually. Against Scotty? I, oh. I get the movement speed with my Hasten Katana. She can't get away. The, the part of this matchup that with her ice, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> you know what? I'm done to try new things. I'm going shield of regrowth. And no one can stop me. Plus, it'll be guaranteed up when I ult. 
How long does it give movement speed for, though? That's my question. Four seconds? So only the beginning of my ultimate. That's probably long enough for her ice to run out, though. Which is super hype. Wow, that ice is so OP. I might just have to alter here. Yeah, she's faster than me even with Hazen Katana. So, can't chase her. We'll see what second relic she gets, although she's probably going to hold on to it. And I'm out of mana again. This is literally just what keeps happening back and forth. Uh, we both trade alts, and then I run out of mana, and I have to leave. What is she building here? Toxiblade? Yeah, most likely. Something of the sort. If she actually goes for Demon King, uh, not much I could do about it, because I have such little mana. I'll just kind of let her take it. Instead, I'll just push the wave and try to get red buff. I think that's better for me. Oh, she didn't even go for it. Okay, cool. I was, I was gonna say, it's taking her a long time to get it considering she's a hunter. Okay, now her ultimate's down, which is nice because I'm still literally full health and mana. What I should try to do is wait for a chance where her ultimate is down. I mean, not her ultimate, her ice. There, her ice is down now. If I wait it, and then I ult. Now she doesn't have the movement speed. Yeah, now she doesn't have the movement speed I can chase. Oh, I didn't kill her. I th Did I not hit that auto attack? I swear I hit that auto attack. Alright. <sighs> Okay, that's okay. But she did get her second relic, which means I can go Frostbound. I can go Sprint. I can go Horrific. I don't even need Frostbound if I go Horrific. What we should get is a Nickable. Now I just want attack speed at this point. Nickable and stuff like that. Wow, I thought she was going to use the ice on herself. If I knew she was going to use it on me, I would have just blinked. I thought I could scare her. I was tempting to catch my one and then blink, but... Then I waited too long. Oh, she still got that. Okay, I'm going for Demon King now. She overstayed. She, over she stayed way too long, but she should have. Like, if she just backed right, uh, like, after I scared her away, then no, I would not have gone for the but I stayed away from her. Plus, now she doesn't have her tower to run under, which is good for me. Oh, she increased the duration of my ult by hitting me. Gab, you're still fast. My regrowth's useless. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God, dude. That ice is so annoying. Wow. Okay. Shield of regrowth. I wanted to try it. It sounded fun. But, uh, she literally just waited. Your middle tower has been and then sped away. And I don't have enough damage is basically the problem as well. Maybe Your as I get attack speed, but... Attack. Uh... She gets away here. There's no way I, I can chase her. Look at that. Look how much distance she gets from that one ability. 
Look at that. She gets more distance than my one. So whenever somebody says Scotty is immobile, I don't know. Maybe in other game modes where you actually have a teammate that can like cut her off. Your middle Phoenix has been and she got destroyed. Phoenix off that. Wow. Didn't think she would get Phoenix. Considering those are just regular minions. Okay. Still got this. I can still win this. Ickvol. And last item. I don't I don't really know what I want last item. If she gets Aussie, I get Toxic Blade or something of the sort. Your Titan's under attack. That's her ultimate and her curse stock, and I didn't even know. That's so good for me. Yeah, I'd say that's really good for me. That's her ice. Should be able to fight this? There we go. Yeah, I waited for the ice, then I used Curse Stonk. She didn't really have a way to get away there. Again, I don't think my regrowth is actually helping. If she would have sprint. If she would have sprint and I didn't have Horrific, I think regrowth might have actually been a little bit helpful. But not quite. Not quite. I'm always down to try new builds and try different things. Because it can be fun. Because then when, if somebody asks me how something is on a character, I can tell them uh, how it is overall. Alright, got to run. What I'm worried about is that Bombus Hammer. Bombus Hammer is not going to be fun to fight, let me, let me tell you. Um, I might need more protections or void or something like that. Or stone cutting? Stone cutting's kind of high. Gives movement speed, 50 power, gives 30 defense, which gives me more power. Takes away 30 of her defense. Which is really good when she only has one defense item. Now is she on Demon King is the question. I don't have I don't have extra wards right now. Which is bad because this is the point in duel where I have to defend minions. But if she goes to Demon King, then I can't defend that too. Oh. <laughs> well, I, 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 you know, I wanted to try with a, with a regrowth build, but I don't think it worked. Scotty got me. I think normally I would want to go. I mean, probably double defense. Um, like a proper defense item instead of the shield of regrowth. It should be game. Let's see. She is a hunter after all. Is she not going to end? Oh, let's see. Might have a chance to blink. Nope. GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed the game, and if you want me to play any other gods, let me know in the comments. I will say, from today, which is October 11th, until October 18th, about, I'm going to be uploading videos, but they're going to be pre-recorded, because uh, my girlfriend's parents are coming to visit from out of town, and I just we want to show them around the area and stuff like that, because they've never been here. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be, do, uh, be doing, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy videos and when i come back i'll record some more uh based on the comments and stuff bye buddy